What is it that you're trying to change in your life this year? Something professionally, maybe you're trying to get a raise or you're looking for a position in a different company. Maybe you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to implement something new in your business. Or maybe it's something personal. Maybe you're trying to take off the pandemic 10, 20, 30, whatever it is these days. But there's something in your life you want to change and you're feeling stuck. And I love when this happens because it's such a great opportunity for expansion and growth. So hey there everybody, I'm Kate Beaters, your breakthrough success expert. And I know I seem really excited about an area that you're feeling stuck, but I wanna share with you that that's because once you get unstuck, when you get unblocked, so much more opens up for you, not even just that one thing. So what's keeping you stuck? And these are our, our core beliefs, our limiting beliefs, things that we tell ourselves over and over again, they become a story, and we believe that story to be truth, and so we start seeing the world through those lenses. So if you are trying to, let's say, take off that weight, you might be telling yourself, I've tried over and over again, nothing works, right? And that becomes your belief that nothing's gonna work. So what happens, nothing works. Or if you're applying for a, you know, a new position in a different company, you know, maybe you're telling yourself, oh my goodness, there's so much competition. You know, and I'll never get it because there's so much competition, they'll never notice me. Well, then you're not gonna get it because that's, that's what you believe. So we tell ourselves these stories over and over again, and because they become our lens, all our action from that place reflects that, because we only take action based on what we believe we're capable of. So you can see that keeps us stuck. So now you can see why I think this is such a cool topic. And one of my favorite ways to really help my clients through this, and also ways I've been helped through this, is through a technique that I happen to be one of the top experts in called tapping. And it's probably the most powerful mindset technique I've ever experienced or, or know about. It's just the changes are really profound. So if you have never tapped before, I recommend go to kapebeaters.com forward slash tapping and you can learn all about it and a little bit about its history and what it helps people with and all sorts of stuff. And of course you are in a real treat because anytime you get to tap, it's always a really wonderful experience. I always like to remind everybody to take uh, responsibility for your own well-being. So if for some reason you're tapping, you don't like it, just simply stop. If you are wearing glasses, take them off because we're tapping around the eyebrow points um, around the eyes. So you don't want to be tapping on your glasses. That won't, wouldn't be helpful to you. And so tapping looks like Simon says, a couple of fingers. You're gonna tap on parts of your upper body and your face while repeating the words I use. So before we begin, um, I, I want you to just think about, you know, this thing that you want, whatever that change is in your life, personal, professional, doesn't matter. Just think about what you want and just think about that wall you have in front of you. Maybe it's a little wall, maybe it's a big foot, 20, 30 foot wall that just seems impossible to ever penetrate through, whatever it is. Just kind of think about that, you know, it's the, the, you know how you're feeling stuck. And then we're going to do a nice big uh, deep breath. You're going to inhale through your nose really slowly. Hold it for a few seconds and then let it back out through your nose again really slowly. And let's do that one more time. Inhale really slowly and exhale really slowly. Okay, so let's begin to tap and you're gonna follow along the um, tapping along with me. So on the side of your hand, the karate chop, repeating after me. Even though it seems impossible to ever break through and have the success I desire. I want to find a way to love and accept myself. Even though it seems impossible to ever break through and have the success I desire, I want to find a way to love and accept myself. And one last time, even though it seems completely impossible to ever break through because these blocks are so big, I want to find a way to love and accept myself. Okay, shake your hands out. And now we're going to go to the points on the face and the upper body. Again, um, just follow along in, with me and uh, repeat after me. It seems impossible, feels impossible, it really feels impossible. There's so many blocks in the way. I'll never get through it. It seems impossible, 
It really seems impossible. Seems impossible. It really seems impossible. There's too many blocks. I'll never get it. I've tried so many times in the past and it doesn't seem to work. Maybe there's too much competition. Maybe I'm not trying hard enough. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not worthy enough. Maybe I'm not meant to have success. All these reasons and so many more that I keep telling myself. That's why I'm staying stuck. What if I could shift that belief? Instead of saying impossible, what if I start saying I am possible? I am possible and anything's possible for me. Okay, everybody, deep breath again, inhale, let it out. How'd that feel? I feel like lighter and you know, um, you may have had some things pop up, write those things down, they're really important. And what I want you to do is write down, you know, whatever blocks you're seeing in the way of you having this change you want to make in your life. Um, limiting beliefs, how you see yourself in relationship to the world. Core beliefs, you know, what you believe about yourself. What are these stories you're telling yourself? Because that is the wall that is keeping you stuck. You know, mindset's about 95% of your success or your failure. So for you to really have all you desire, you got to start shifting your mindset. Normally when I'm doing this with my clients, of course, we're diving deeper and deeper and deeper into all the tapping and clearing things out. So if I can ever help you, reach out to info at katebeaters.com and you can learn more about my coaching, info at katebeaters.com. I want you to realize that, that changing that word from impossible to I am possible is all the difference and then clearing out all the mush that's in between and keeping you stuck. Because what you're going to realize, it isn't just helping you reach this one goal. By making this change, it changes so much more in your life. It isn't just this one thing that you desire, this one change you're trying to make. It opens up the doors for so many other possibilities for you. And that's what I really want. I want to help you show up in your brilliance. So until we meet again, be brilliant.